Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to cover how to utilize the new updated Hip and Valley Tool. Let's get started. To launch the Hip and Valley Tool, we simply go to our linear function located here at the top. Once we select that, we can go and provide some information. For the linear type, we're going to select the Hip and Valley Tool. From here, you're going to see some items that have changed and some items that have not changed. Some of the items that have not changed is the number of plies, bearing and inches, roof pitch one, and roof pitch two. You'll notice that we've added an item called the hip and valley manufacturer. So let's go ahead and fill out some of this information. For our hip and valley, we're going to go ahead and select one ply. Bearing and inches, we're going to leave as zero, and we're going to select our roof pitch. For this example, we only need to select the first roof pitch because our roof pitches that come into our valleys are the exact same pitch. If we had two different pitches coming into the roof valley, we would then select the second pitch. For that example, it would be 712 coming into an 812 pitch. From here, we're going to go ahead and select the hip and valley manufacturer. We're going to go through here and select our hip and valley parts. Now, with the new functionality, we've added the opportunity to be able to draw from a catalog similar to how our joist tool works. The catalog that's provided contains items such as a 2x6, 2x8s, 10s, 12s, 9.25 LVL, and 11.78s LVL. You can also add your own catalog within a parts catalog section by simply going through and creating your catalog and then going ahead and tagging it to the hip and valley default catalog. For this example, let's go ahead and select the 2x8 hip and valley. Once we select that, we'll set our, we'll set our linear width and we'll select our color here. Whenever we're ready, we'll go ahead and hit start. From here, let's go ahead and let's measure out some valleys. Once we've measured these valleys out, we can see our measurements here, such as the 16.08, 10.60, and 10.60 here. Now this tool can also be utilized for things such as headers, ridges, beams, hips, or any other item that you would like to pull from a dedicated catalog for a material length. As you can see here, now that we have these items measured out, let's go ahead and head to our report section. Once we open this up, we're gonna see a couple items that have been calculated. For this example, we see we have a two by eight by 12, and a 2 by 8 by 18. Our quantities for the 12s is 2, and our quantity for the 18 is 1. As you'll notice, each one of these items have been rolled up to the nearest length. For the 2 by 8 18, we had a total length of 16 feet, and for the 2 by 8 by 12s, we had a little over a 10 foot length for each one of those items. Once again, it found the next longest length, which was a 12 footer and an 18 footer. Now, if we wanted to and we needed to modify these items, and let's say that we needed to change the material off from a two by eight to a two by six, and then go ahead and double those plies, we can go ahead and select the hip and valley located on the left again, open this up and simply make these changes. So let's go ahead and change this to a two ply. And then from here, let's go ahead and select a two by six hip and valley. Once we select update, we're gonna see that our labels have changed such as a two ply at 10.0 six zero and so forth and so on and if we look at our reports that will reflect the changes within here you'll now see a two by six by 12 and a two by six by 18 the quantity which was two before for the 12 is now four and the quantity which was one before for the 18 is now two and that's it thanks for watching today's video 